pretty much every military ship nowadays is essentially a power driven vessel so they have the exact same status as every other power driven vessel so they're treated the same as cruise ships, cargo ships and even small personal boats. They don't get any special rights so when they're approaching another vessel so as to involve risk of collision they're treated the same as everyone else. They could be the giveaway vessel or they could be the stand on vessel. In a crossing situation between two power driven vessels for example, the vessel with the other on her starboard side is the one directed to keep out of the way, regardless of whether they're military or not. That hierarchy that we mentioned earlier of course could override the situation because if we swap out one of the power driven vessels for a sailing vessel, suddenly the power driven vessel must keep out of the way. A 100,000 ton supercarrier approaching a small sailing dinghy with no other special circumstances in play would have to keep out of the way. Of course, the supercarrier could swap things around if they became restricted in their ability to manoeuvre. One definition of course is a vessel engaged in the launching or recovery of aircraft so if the carrier was undertaking flight operations then they do effectively gain rights over and above those afforded to them as a power driven vessel, effectively forcing every other vessel to keep out of their way. Of course, the carrier does need to communicate this with other vessels somehow 